You know what I mean? I had the opportunity to work out with guys like Big George Foreman, you know, and uh, Archie Moore was in his corner, and Archie Moore said, uh, you know, I asked Archie Moore and Big George if I can spar, you know, with them. Because I was up there, I was in training camp with Ann Pryor, and I had no idea that Big George was going to be in the uh, gym once I got up there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was excited about it because, you know, I just wanted to work out with him because, you know, he, he fought Ali, and, you know, I just wanted to see what that felt like. And uh, Archie Moore said to him, you know, told him not to take it easy on me. And, you know, Big George decided to get in there the first round, take it easy on me. And I was able, you know, to put the combinations and just, you know, I was touching him pretty good. And then he goes back to the corner after that first round and told Archie Moore, see what you're saying now. And then the second round, he came out there and, you know, he was throwing hate makers and I was slipping and sliding, you know. I, I was a dancer. I always was on my toes and everything. And, you know, Big George was missing me by this much. But still, I felt the force mm -hmm. and the wind on the punch. I felt like, man, this guy hit me, man. You know, he might slow me down or something, but he never could get that close. I, was, I always kept him at range because of my ability to the move and in and out. I think I saw one of your fights that he actually was a, uh, did he, he commentate in your fights? I think he was. A, yeah, he, he, he commentated a on, the, on the Riddick Bowles fight. Yeah, so <clears> they're like a, just a cool thing to have him call in your fight and everything, or, you know, just yeah, that, that was Yeah, that, that was very nice, but, you know what I mean, I didn't, in that particular fight, I really didn't get to fight my fight.